Good morning, guys. So today I'm gonna do kind of like day in the life. You guys are gonna hang out with me. It's Monday. I'm gonna just show you what I do on a typical Monday. We're gonna do some cleaning because I usually do uh, some of my bigger cleaning on Mondays. I'm fixing to go pick up groceries. Madeline's home from school because we had a really bad storm here over the weekend and a lot of people are still without power and we have a lot of people without internet including a lot of the schools in the county don't have internet so she doesn't have school today she's pretty excited about that this is killing my arm um <clears throat> that noise you hear is my vacuum vacuuming for me because that's something i do pretty much every morning as i get up and i start harry and becky that's becky harry is going somewhere else in the house we give them names you didn't brush your hair why didn't you brush your hair? Kinsley dressed herself. Pretty good job, but you need to go brush your hair. This is kind of looking strange. I have to put that headband Look, on again. Show them how long your hair is getting. Wait, wait. No, turn around. I'm going to bring it to the front. We'll show them in the back in a minute, but let's, let's bring it to the front. So this is what it looks like from the front. Now turn around. Bring it all back. Look how long. Now go get a brush so we can show them how pretty it looks when we brush it. So anyways, I haven't done a vlog in such a long time, but a lot of you miss them and ask me to do them all the time, and I figured I would do that today. That doesn't match at all. That goes to one of your Halloween costumes. It's the what? It's to the candy corn um, butterfly or something. No way. You think it's a witch? Yeah. Mm. The witch is it. Oh, I don't think so. But um, <clears throat> anyways, what else was I going to tell you guys? Was I tell you something else? I can't think what it was. But yeah, you guys will get to see some of the house decor that I've gotten up since my last cleaning video Tell in this vlog. The and what? The they just saw the stairs. Yeah. There's our stairs. Mm. You can see some of the decor right there but I'm going to take you and show you a better view of it all later when I get back from getting groceries. I'm actually, I just checked on my phone to see if they were ready and they weren't ready yet. We had some, some substituted items. I always pick up my groceries from Walmart Grocery Pickup. If you haven't done that before, you should totally try it. It's amazing. It does not cost any extra and you're not allowed to tip them. I know when I first tried it, I was really nervous about it because I didn't know how it worked. I would have loved to have somebody tell me how it works. So I'm going to tell you, basically you just go online, you order your groceries, you pick a pickup time, you pick a pickup location, they will notify you via the app when it's ready, and you will go and pick it up, and the app tracks you, but it doesn't track you, it doesn't tell them where you live or like where you are at specifically, it just tells them where you are in relation to them as far as if you're five minutes away, I think they told me once that they have like a little beeper. If you work for Walmart Grocery Pickup and you're watching this, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what my lady told me. She said they have like a little beeper and like when I'm five minutes away it beeps, when I'm four minutes away it beeps, and then like it beeps when I'm there so they can know. So when you pull in, it lets them know you are there and then they just come out with the groceries. You don't even have to do anything. And they will load them up for you. Some people get out and help them load up the groceries and others don't. I don't. Personally, I've asked a couple of the girls, or there's guys sometimes too, but um, I've asked the women specifically if they prefer us get out and help or if they prefer us just stay in the car. And the girls that I asked said, honestly, it doesn't matter to them. They don't mind just loading them up. And honestly, I think if it were me, I probably would, would just want to load them up myself, just be a little less awkward probably. But you don't have to feel uncomfortable if you're sitting in your car and this person is loading up groceries for you. Because from what I know, they don't mind. Um, and that's the way the service was designed, really. So you don't even have to get out of the car. Because I am in my pajama pants currently. I did put on a normal person shirt, but I'm still in my pajama pants. And nine times out of ten, I wear my pajamas to go pick up groceries. Because that's how I roll. And I do not get out of the car. Um... But yeah, you're not allowed to tip them or anything. So they just load it up and then they say you're on your way and you go. Now, if they're out of something, they will substitute it usually. They always 
will substitute it for something better if they can. So for example, if I buy great value brand diapers and they're out, they will give me Pampers or Huggies. Or if I buy Mountain Dew, a 12 pack of Mountain Dew, or I mean a 12 pack of like Mountain Lightning, their brand, the great value brand, and they're out, they will up it to Mountain Dew, the name brand. So you're always gonna get a better deal in that blue, circumstance. Blue and blue don't match. Blue and blue don't match. Yeah, you're kind of right. It looks better what you did. I like that. That looks better. And I, I love your hair. Can you turn around? Woo! It's looking beautiful. Good job. Are you ready to go pick up our groceries? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop talking y'all's ear off and go pick up the groceries. When we get back, I will show you a little grocery haul of what everything that I picked up. I just got home and we carried all these groceries in. Maddie's having her lunch. I picked her up some Sonic. And I'm going to just quickly show you everything I got. This is not a formal grocery haul by any means. I'm tired <laughs> because we sat in traffic forever. And um, I just want to get this stuff put up. I'm getting Kinsley's lunch ready. She didn't want Sonic. So I have a lot to do. So I got these French style green beans. French style is our favorite. I don't like the cut green beans. I don't like the texture of them. Madeline loved these and got us hooked on them. So I always get the French style. They're just like kind of like shredded, I guess. And then this is going to be so random and out of order too. My husband was out of body wash. He likes the Old Spice Pure Sport. I picked up some sugar. And Maddie likes to have these original Teddy Grahams, the honey, in her lunchbox. So I got her the little individual packs of those. I got steaks and ground beef and chicken for our dinners this week. Some powdered sugar because Maddie likes to bake. She baked cupcakes. They're over there buried in the grocery somewhere. I'll show you in a minute. And then I got animal crackers because Kinsley and I love to snack on these. You've probably seen me eating these in a few of my videos. And then I got Lunchables because this is like the only thing my child will eat for preschool. So I packed these. Um, and then I got caramel apples because when it's this season, I always, they come out with them at Walmart or any grocery store really. I, I found them at several and they're like my favorite snack. So I got those and then I got the saltine crackers. I like to get the fresh stacks ones because they come in little packs rather than the big tall one so that they don't go stale because these go stale so fast. So they just have little packs that are about the same size as it shows here. And so you pretty much use one of those packs every time. And then I got some broccoli. I will be making this. We probably eat it raw. I like bro broccoli raw more than I do cooked. I just dip it in ranch. I made homemade ranch um, as well. So that's probably what I'll be doing with that. And then these are what Madeline takes in her lunch. The Easy Mac. She likes the Deluxe. And then I picked her up some more of her cereal. Can you pick that up for me? Reese Puffs is what she's into right now. Um, let's see. I got some cream of chickens just because I like to keep some of my things in there stocked up because you can use cream of chicken for so much. That's my microwave telling me that her food is ready. So, let's see. I got some SpaghettiOs, something for the girls to eat for lunch one day. I got some chili beans for my chili. I always get the mild. I got some baked beans. I'll probably make these with our steak. I got biscuits. They had to substitute a lot of my things today because their electric was out and a lot of their perishable food had to be thrown out. So they were out of a lot of things. I usually get the buttermilk flaky but they had to substitute it for the Southern home style. So we will see. Um, eggs, buttermilk waffles. Kinsley and my husband like to eat these for breakfast with their eggs. Um, and then my husband likes the Chobani flip. He likes the almond cocoa loco and then the banana one, nutty for banana. They were out of the nutty for banana. So they substituted and I got a bunch more than I, what I even ordered, but they were out of the banana. So we didn't get any of that. Um, and then this ice cream for my husband and I, we like to have a bowl of this at night. And then, um, I thought I got ice cream for Kinsley. Oh no, I didn't. I got her popsicles. Okay. And then I got lunch meat. I like the sun-dried tomato turkey. It is so good. So I got half a pound of that. I got some American cheese. I normally get the white American cheese, but they had to substitute for just original. I think it tastes pretty much the same. It just doesn't have the, hi, 
You smell that meat? It smells really good. You can smell it from here. You smell that? Maybe Mama will give you peace. I mean Nana. I mean Nana. Mommy gets mad when I call myself Mommy. But anyways, and then I got some sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to be using this in my breakfast burritos. And then I got, this is what I like to make my fried chicken with. This Louisiana seasoned crispy chicken fry chicken powder mix. They have a bigger box of it if you want to make a lot or this and this there's plenty of this for me to make chicken for our family and then ketchup because we were out free by the foot because maddie likes to take that in her lunch for school i got some more pasta sauce i like the hunt's pasta sauce because it doesn't have chunks in it and then some frozen pizzas cheese for maddie and uh, supreme for my husband sometimes i'll eat some of madeline's i'm not like a huge well, I mean, I like it all right. I just, I don't know. I haven't been into it lately. And then orange juice. They had to substitute this as well. We usually get a different kind, but it should be fine. And then I love these Breyers Carb Smart Almond Bars. I got these when I was pregnant with Kinsley because I had diabetes when I was pregnant with her. And so I needed treats that didn't have carbs or were low carb. And I think these only have, let's see how many, they're no carb or low carb. Let's see. They are 13 grams of carbs. So they were good for me to eat and keep my blood sugar where it needed to be. And they're actually really good. So I still get them to this day. And my husband actually likes them and Kinsley likes them. In fact, she ate all of mine last time I bought them. So I bought more. I bought some more peanut butter. I got these popsicle frozen minis for Kinsley. She loves these. And then bananas. Fair Life Chocolate Milk because Madeline loves that for breakfast in the morning. Ow, I just stubbed my toe. I got some tomatoes because we're going to have burgers. I got some carb balance tortillas. I feel like these taste just as good as the regular ones and there's only 6 grams of carbs. I'm going to make breakfast burritos. I make eggs, cheese, and then um, the tortilla. So that's what I'm using that for. My Plinks. I use these all the time. I usually just pick up a thing every time I go for your garbage disposal. Some potatoes, some hamburger buns. There's the cupcakes that she made with sprinkles. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh wait, I didn't show the pancakes, did I? These are pancakes. This is what Maddie likes to eat for breakfast in the morning. But yeah, that's everything that I got for groceries. Now Madeline and I are going to be putting all of this away. I forgot my lettuce over here it was on the other counter, but I got lettuce to go with um, our burgers. So we can also make salad out of that. So there we go. We have lettuce too. Kinsley. Come sit at the table. Where's your water? I brought it in. Oh no, she brought it in. Where is it? Right here. Okay, Kinsley, come get your water and come sit at the table. I don't, I don't have a water. Yeah, you do. Mommy bought you one at Sonic, remember? Please. Watching Vampirina? Oh, it's like an opening toy thing? Yeah. Let me see. That's cool. Alright, it's a little hot, so let it cool for a sec, okay? So this morning while I was in bed, I was awake, but um, I hadn't gotten out of bed yet. I heard something fall, and it was my thankful banner. So I'm going to... I had, read, I had lifted the tape up and adjusted it last night, and I really should have put more tape on it. I like this tape if it'll focus. I like this tape, the um, Super Hold tape by Scotch. So I'm going to re-tape that real quick and then I am going to go through and take all of our shoes because this used to be our store, uh, our sh I can't talk, our shoe storage bench at the old house. But we have a coat closet right inside the door at this one. So I am going to use that instead. So I'm going to take all of our shoes out of there. I'm going to use this for like seasonal throw blankets and extra throw blankets and things like that. 
And I'm going to be painting the feet white to match the rest of the stuff in the house. I might do that today. Actually, you know what? I'm probably not going to do that today. It wasn't supposed to be raining today, but it's like super gloomy outside. You can't really tell from there, but it is. It's raining and drizzling and gross. So I'm not going to be able to paint them today, but I am planning on painting those white. But that's what I'm fixing to do. Okay, it's hard to see in here because it's dark. Let's see. I can make it brighter. But that's what I just did for now. I put our shoes in that little basket, the ones that we wear like the most often, and then I have the rest of them in our closet. I might change this in the future, but for now, I think it works fine that way. So I need to figure out where I'm gonna put the girls' backpacks because I did have them sitting in the floor in there, which is not ideal. I'm gonna take you, hi Tuck and show you the my cleaning slash storage closet what I was thinking this would be perfect to hang their backpacks in here once I get it the way that I want it so that's what I'm probably gonna do I have a really cute white with like silver hook thing I can hang on the wall here and then um I actually have a shelf that I can hang on the wall in here too a white shelf so I might do that but I need, I have so much work to do in here. I have to rip all of that paper off of these shelves. They tried to cover them and make them look like wood and um, it doesn't look that great. And then I just kind of threw all of my bins up here when we moved in. And then I have Bailey's kennel in here, which I think I'm going to be moving. And then the dog's bowls and all that, which I think, yep, the dogs need water. They have none. Okay, so I'm going to get them some water. But I have like their dog food in here, their little containers that have all their stuff they need, their treats, and my mops and buckets and vacuums and just, ugh, I just need to organize it. I have so much unused space. I'm going to be using that top shelf to put my, my like, le least used items. Those are air filters, extra paper towels, things like that, light bulbs, things like that will go up there. And then all of my stuff that I use on the regular will go there. I'm not really sure why that didn't go all the way over, but I guess it's fine because I have this shelf in here. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I want to tackle this room today so bad. I just don't know if I can muster up the courage <laughs> and the strength and the energy to do it. Let me open this window, but open the shade, but I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to save it for last because if I don't get it today, I can definitely do it tomorrow. 
while Kinsley's at school, which would be kind of enjoyable because I won't have to stop every five seconds. But let's see, what else? I need to clean the floors. I need to clean my bathroom. I need to clean Kinsley's bathroom. I need to do the dishes in the sink. I need to start a load of laundry. I got this bleach. That's disgusting. Um, this is real life, guys. That is from when we made no-bake cookies last night. Right here. They're delicious. Maddie made them. I say we, but Maddie made them. But we rinsed out the pan, and she did not rinse the sink out. But I got bleach at the store today, and it is leaking. It leaked all over my trunk, and look, it leaked on my sweatshirt and ruined it. I'm so upset. I don't know why it was leaking. I don't know if they knew it was when they put it in there. But, but anyways, yeah, I got to clean this sink and the floors and the bathrooms. Um, oh, I got to start laundry. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start laundry now. And then I plan to fold it later. I'm going to start the laundry. And then I think I'm going to do the bathrooms upstairs. So, like I said, I might not get it to the cleaning closet today. But I'm going to try. But I, I do need to do the bathrooms and the laundry. So I'm going to do that. Oh, and I'm going to show you in here. It's not clean right now. There's toys and stuff everywhere. But I want to show you what I did for the fireplace. Now, this shelf is not completely decorated the way I want it. I just kind of have stuff sitting up there. Um... And last night when we hung these, I moved stuff around, so it's not the way I want it. But anyways, and like these boxes, this is our Wi-Fi stuff. I'm going to be putting it probably down there and then hiding it with a picture or something. But I have to get my husband to drill holes to run the cords through there. So they're just sitting there for now. But anyways, I got that at Kirkland's. And you know, I love it. And so that's what I did. And then on this side of the fireplace, I put another one. And then I put that shoe thing there. And like I said, I'm going to paint the feet of it white. So this is what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I know that it would look good to have another one of these over there too, probably. But there's a couple reasons why I didn't do that. One, because I already have that, and that's free. Two, because I have that coffee table there, I don't think it would look good having that there. And I don't want to switch that coffee table to that side, because we walk through there, and I just like, I like how it looks there. So for me, and for my house, I like how I have that arranged. And it's functional, because it's extra seating, because that is cushion, little bench. People can sit on it if need be. If we have a bunch of company or something. I can store blankets in it. So for me, that's what works. I'm happy with that for now. I'll probably change it at some point in the future. Because that's what I do. But for now, I'm happy with it. So, hey Tucky. Tucker. Hi. So moving in here, I'll show you. Specky's still going. Going strong. This is Kinsley's little room. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you guys. So she has Play-Doh and stuff out right now. But I have her little table that she drew all over. So I need to paint it because it does not look cute. And she still has Play-Doh. That's probably hard because she... No, it's still soft. I need to get her to put that up. But anyways, I got this rug on Amazon for her. And then I've had that shelf. I got those shelves. They're both the same. I got them from Target. And this was in our old house up in the bonus room. And I have just baskets in there. And this is where I store like her coloring books and Play-Doh and all her craft stuff. And it's so hard with the windows being open. It doesn't want to show you here. I have this sign. It was in my kitchen in the old house. I was thinking about hanging it in between these windows, but I'm not sure. And then I have this pedestal that I haven't decorated. I've come to the conclusion, let me turn this around so you guys can see me. I've come to the conclusion as of yesterday, pretty much, when I am putting these rooms together, I'm realizing that I'm just ready for some new decor because I've had a lot of my decor for years and years and years and years and years. 
and I think I'm going to just sell my old decor and start picking up some new pieces here and there. So I'm not going to get into a hurry of just putting stuff on the walls just to have stuff on the walls. I'm going to take my time so that I have stuff that I really love. So um, I would love to sell my stuff to you guys, but a lot of it is really big and it would be really expensive to ship and just a pain in the butt all around. So I'll probably just sell it locally or like to friends and stuff. But I think that's what I'm going to do. So I've used some of my stuff, but I think I'm going to get some new stuff too. Um, I do have this rocking chair in here for now, but that probably won't stay either. Over here, let me move my tripod. So we did hang some stuff this weekend, and this is what it looks like. I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. I love it so much. Um... We did get a new thermostat, so I have to paint around it because this is the original paint color. And the old thermostat covered that. My new one doesn't. So, why does it keep turning down? And I set it to 70. We is cold up in here. But yeah, I just had to get paint and touch that up. But that's what that looks like. And I'm really, really happy with it. And then, we turn around above my door I have my let's stay home sign so that's cute and then my office you saw that already in a video um, I just have some decor sitting in there I think what I'm gonna do in here is put a big mirror and then I'm gonna put these on either side of it and then beyond that I have no idea what I'm gonna do I really want my desk to be in the middle of the room and we tried it. We turned it around because it is an executive desk so the back of it is really pretty. We turned it around and we put it in the center of the room about right here and it looks really nice but the problem is there would be a cord running behind it over my rug and down the back of the floor quite a ways and there's just really no way to avoid that. I know I could get a little strip to go but that strip would have to go over the rug I just, I don't know a way to work around it. Um, maybe in the future I can think of something, but I've really racked my brain. But I think once I get stuff on the walls in here and I get curtains hung, that it'll, it'll look a lot better. Right now it just looks bare, but I do love my furniture so, so much. I definitely recommend this furniture. It is heavy and solid, and I'm loving it so far. So yeah, anyways, that's my office, and then I'm trying to think if we hung anything else. Oh yeah, we hung it in here. I'll show you. So up here, we hung this homemade breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't think, if you, I don't know if you can see that it says that, but it matches my table perfectly. So I have that up there, and then eventually I'm going to get curtains there, but I just haven't yet. And... Let's see, my battery is about to die, of course. So I'm gonna switch my battery out and if I can find it, let's go see if we can find my battery. Where did I plug it in? I'm always losing, no, I'm always losing this stuff, guys. It's not there. Where could it be? I did have it there, but I moved it. Did I put it in the kitchen? Did I? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go find my battery and then I'm gonna go do laundry. Maddie, you need to empty all the trash in the house. Mom? Nope. She's breaking my scrunchies, she's breaking my chokers, she's in my room messing my room up. And I She's stretching them out so they won't fit me. No, being a mom like 
People might wonder, what do stay-at-home moms do all day? Do they watch soap operas? Do they sit on the couch and watch TV? Um, do they get to take naps? Let me tell you. Just watch this video and you will see for yourself what we do all day. Um, we break up fights. We provide meals. We clean up messes. We get snacks. We clean up more messes. We break up more fights. So I'm using this Gain um, Scent Blast and the scent Fiercely Fresh. To me it smells the same as the original but it's supposed to like smell stronger. I clean the plate up for you. Thank you. I don't know if it smells stronger or not. I've not really used it that much. I've used it on a load or two but I haven't paid attention. But I'll let you know I like it. I don't dislike it. Um, I love the Gain Original so there's that and then I use the blue Suavitel fabric softener and then I use the original um, scent boosters and those all three together make your laundry smell so good.